welcome to View It Live. My name is Naomi, and I am your host for tonight. How exciting is this? Now, I have a guest. We do have a guest in our midst. Um, <laughs> I don't know how she's doing this. We'll get to her in a bit, but I want to properly introduce you to the show, View It Live. The team and I, we've got a sweet lineup for you, so make sure to stay tuned. But if you see a comment section and you've not touched it yet, make sure to interact with us there. We will be saying hi to you along the way, so don't worry about that. But I have heard from the team that you're coming from all over the world which is crazy to me. View It Live is our very own weekly live show where we take you through the latest content and news trending in the Asian entertainment world. So if you've got any news trending right now, you want to set it our way, feel free to do so as well. But it's also where we give you some sneak peeks of what you can find on View as well. Now, without further ado, <laughs> That was, that was solid. That was solid. That was an entire month. It was like a solid three minutes of just ignoring her. Um, <laughs> I, was just, I was just paying attention to the duckling over here. Yeah, and just like petting the toy. Um, without further ado, this is my friend slash soon to be <laughs> sister in law. We went straight in. Stress, 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 stress. Um, this is Narelle King. Hello. Mic on. <laughs> What's up, guys? I. Okay, for, for those of us that are new to you, tell us a little bit about yourself. I am Naomi's future sister-in-law. That's that's all you need to know. Oh my god! <laughs> it's true. We're going Google, but we won't tackle that right now. So exciting! <laughs> Hi, my name is Narelle. Hi, my name is Narelle. I am a musician. I am 26. Uh, <laughs> am I on like a dating app right now? <laughs> and restart. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Narelle. I'm a musician, and I'm from Singapore. Yeah, we heard that you guys are from all over the world, mm -hmm. which is pretty, pretty insane cool. to me. I hope everyone is staying safe. And I wonder what time it is for you. Well, it's evening for us, so yeah. good evening. Or good morning. The perfect time to <laughs> hang out. <laughs> now, Norelle and I, we actually saw each other last week, mm -hmm. but for this live what stream... Do we do, <laughs> what did we do last week, Nail? We went hiking. We did! <laughs> I almost forgot what we did. We went hiking, we were fit people, mm -hmm. and that's also kind of where we want to go today. But what have you been up to this entire week, since the last time I saw you? Well, I went to the dentist today. That was really fun. Oh! Yeah. What were you doing at the dentist? Got, got my teeth drilled a little bit. Spent $600 on fillings. That was nice. Okay. <laughs> You ate too much candy? Take care oh, your teeth, oh, guys. Oh, like, okay, so you this ate too much candy. I did not know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm exposing myself here. But did you know that you're supposed to floss before you brush your teeth? I don't floss before I brush I my went, teeth. Well, I mean, oh. when I do floss, which is often, <laughs> <laughs> I actually floss after I brush my teeth. But oh. apparently what happens is that you push the food into your mouth. And you shouldn't brush hard. This is just free advice for you, so you don't have to pay six hundred dollars to get your teeth. <laughs> okay, too much information. If you want to know about how Norel's teeth has fared <laughs> over the course of the weekend, please comment and text her or something on Instagram at Norel King. But to push our narrative forward, the producers are staring at us. They're wondering with view it live. <laughs> We've got something on right now. So we technically have been given one clue mm -hmm. on the topic for today. You know, we're, we're tackling on the latest news, trending, content. So this is a huge hit. Friends that sweat together stay mm. together. And I more or less think that it's about fitness, lifestyle. Just, otherwise, it's just about being really nervous. <laughs> I don't it's think that's true. as exciting. <laughs> That is true! Friends that sweat together, stay together. Producers, am I right? We are, we are just nervous here? <laughs> no? Okay, so of them nodded their head. But that was our clue for the topic of the night. Before we do anything, we've got a couple of photos that we want to show you. So, producers, take it away. I don't even know what we're looking... Oh! Okay. I don't know if you're seeing this, but this is like the OG of OGs. Uh, Jerry Yen. <laughs> Wait, what does that say? Can you read that Chinese word? Chao duo qian. It's like a lot of money. But it's all, it's covering his body. I, I think that's a dress or something. It was meant to be a dress or something. Mm. We, we're seeing Whoa. like very... <laughs> this is like no, no prints, you know? Yeah! I don't know if you guys have that where you're from, but like, it was the bomb. Oh was my gosh, what are all these images of 
Ooh. Just him and oh, okay, okay. I want to cover your eyes. Um, <laughs> like, oh, oh. I I don't know what you're Ooh. seeing right now, but this this is very intriguing. <laughs> is this slideshow gonna continue or is this like the end of it already? Okay. okay. Is the... <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy that. I am quite tickled. It's so funny. The producers just like cut it off right away. Okay, so th those were a few photos of Jerry Yen this in Jerry different. Yen. In different types of outfits, I do believe that's Jerry Yen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can't get him wrong because he's part of the F4 mm. band like from way, 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 way back. But there has to be a reason why we're being shown these photos. So we're going to fact check it right now. Oh, okay. So Jerry Yen, by the way, he's uh, 43 this year and he is the star of the new show Count Your Lucky Stars. So apparently for this role, he hired mm -hmm. like a personal trainer and a nutritionist. It paid off. To <laughs> Money well spent. We have a fan here, guys. <laughs> roger, roger. <laughs> he was very strict about his diet, so he made sure to work out for at least one hour a day to keep his physique in tip-top condition. Dedication to the max. Would you work out for once a day? That's actually not too bad. That seems quite healthy. One that, hour. That is, that is the dream. But we're not even talking about what he eats for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I cannot survive without Coco Crunch. Wow. Interesting <laughs> fact. <laughs> Comment <laughs> below if you are a Coco Crunch fan <laughs> and hashtag, hashtag view it live, okay? So the, apparently the challenge, um, the reason why all those photos went so viral was because a challenge was posed on the official Count Your Lucky Stars Weibo account. So it called netizens to dress Jerry up by photoshopping clothes on his body! That's definitely not Photoshop, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but it's oh pretty funny. It's cute. It's cute. We will get to which is your favourite photo in just a bit. Oh, I know which one already. Do you know? No. Yes. <laughs> which one was your favourite? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> but we do have a video to satisfy your curiosity on Count Your Lucky Stars. So here is a short clip. Oh, I'm quite excited. <laughs> So brooding. Why are you sad? Why are you sad, baby? Flexing! <laughs> I'm so sad. Ooh, Aww. what happened? I don't know. Scar. I was gonna ask like if that scar was a real thing. Like off off no, but he touched it, so it's definitely like prosthetics. It's part of the show. Okay, we cannot give away too much of the show. <laughs> but yes, there is a scar. There's a story to this. So that was a sneak peek of what you can find in Count Your Lucky Stars. And okay, first you know, Do we team. have Jerry Yen fans in the house? Because I am definitely a Jerry Yen fan. Jerry Yen was like, Jerry Yen was my childhood. Yeah. Jerry Yen went way back. He was in this other Taiwanese show also called like MVP Ting Ren, Nietzsche Garden. Nietzsche Garden. Um, which was like in 2001 as well. Mm. So that was pretty crazy. But how do you find Jerry Yen? Because the minute she saw the picture, she thought <laughs> of what, what's the Chinese word? What Chinese word? Dao Ming Shi. Dao Ming Shi. <laughs> Dao Ming Shi. <laughs> that was how he became famous, I think. Yeah, is it? I, I think so, and then he and then he really his his career just like catapulted. I don't know, but I was in love with his house. Did you see his house? Okay, insane. very stalker-ish. No, like the house in the show. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant his real house, like his real house. He's a house very brooding, you know, like bit like you know, uh, character growth. Like I start off like like this. <laughs> I'm losing my words, but I start off like this, and then I become like this. <laughs> So Jerry Yen in Count Your Lucky Stars, I can imagine why he would be motivated to hire a nutritionist mm. and to also hire like a personal trainer. Because when you're in front of the camera, there's like this added pressure almost to want to kind of look good. And apparently, you know, the camera kind of adds a few pounds mm. to, your, to your actual weight. So I think that's a lie. Okay, but he looks he looks super fit in in the scene though. He, he does, must be yeah. actually really skinny in real life. But on top of that, I'm just thinking about the diet that he has, like the amount of dedication, motivation that goes like into some, it. Some, I mean, but it's also about like portraying the character, right? They really take it right. The commitment, like actors like like uh, Christian Bale had to go from like nothing to oh okay. To, I mean, dedication. That's a good point. Appreciate that. That, that, mm. that is a good point and I mean when I think of fitness, I think about my fitness but I also think about um, the fitness of others. Mm. So this brings me to my next question. 
in terms of relationships, like you know, with your partner, how particular are you with their fitness? Like, if say mm. one day they decide, okay, I'm gonna let go. What's your reaction? What is let go? Okay, but do you okay? Let do you go. like? <laughs> <laughs> no, they got copy right. <laughs> um, okay, but first off, do you do you like that? What you saw there is that something that pleases you? Well, okay. Strangely, this was a topic um, between my friends last week as well. Like, do you pay more attention to the mm. physical appearance than the the inward appearance, which is like your soul, the chemistry between you and the other person? I don't pay too much attention to what's on the outside because generally I'm more attracted to you if you know you're able to hold a conversation with me. Yeah. Um, but I do appreciate if you pay attention to your health, your fitness, because um, that would show that you actually take care of your body and, mm. and you, you actually do a good amount of self-care. Exactly. I think, I think for me, I don't mind like if the person is not... I don't, actually, I don't really care if they're like not mm -hmm. buffed or ripped or anything. I think sometimes, sometimes squishy is quite nice. But um, I think... Oh, I think <laughs> um, but I think what is important is to enjoy like being active for me at least because i think i'm quite an active person like i like to play a lot of games i like to do sport um mm. and i think it would just be nice to be able to be with someone that can also carry play play the games that i want to play and carry on the lifestyle that i would like to as well you know mm -hmm. and it's also i mean exercising releases endorphins and it's quite Watching, That's good actually, because <laughs> sometimes when I exercise and then I stop for about a whole week, I can literally feel the dip mm -hmm. in my emotion. So I think between Jerry and his physical appearance, how much you know, his how fit he is compared to us, and like on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. I have to say, it's very hard to keep up unless you're a personal trainer or like you have someone next to you. But um, if you are motivated to stay accountable to yourself, I guess that will kind of kind of work out. I think it's more fun. I mean, okay, I like exercising, not like alone. Well, okay, sometimes okay. it's nice to exercise alone, especially like if you're really going for. Like, I don't know. <laughs> what is? I suddenly saw a very gorillic gor kind of energy coming out. Um, mm -hmm. But I love exercising in terms of like playing games, like whether it's like basketball or like I picked up skating, like skateboarding recently. Mm -hmm. It's actually really exhausting. But the hanging out element of exercising, I think, is what I find the most fun. Because you kind of, mm. I mean, honestly, do you feel like time is very short these days? Then you kind of have to yes. squeeze multiple things together. Yes. So it's almost great to be able to like hang out with friends and bond with your uh, catch up and mm -hmm, also mm -hmm, be able mm -hmm. to like get some kind of benefit mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at the same time like i used to be i i used to be pretty fit <laughs> you she, she went to a sports school by the way in Just singapore a side yeah so it's a school where basically you go there and you like train every day and they monitor everything from your fitness to like your nutrition your heartbeat and stuff like that really um, yeah pretty intensely actually every week we have like nutrition lessons and stuff and okay. they control all your food Wow, that is yeah. intense. Yeah, it's quite so regimental. you were a Jerry Yen then, hey. in a way. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't go ahead and Photoshop like images and around <laughs> my head on his body. <laughs> and then you would be like starring Narelle do. King and count your lucky stars. Please do. <laughs> um, but what was I gonna say? No, I can't stop thinking about it. Oh, your 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 school. They make you. Oh, but okay. So yeah. I mean, like since then, not that much has been going on, and I do feel. I miss being really fit. Like, there's something really fun about just like knowing that your body can do things. I agree with you. I, I, I agree with you. I mean, that's kind of why you're doing your yoga teacher's training. Um, yes, in a way. I mean, I do believe in repetition. Mm -hmm. And I'm the sort of person that believes in um, structure. So I... <laughs> <laughs> she would know that. <laughs> so yeah. every conversation, I was just like really structured and I'm like, okay, you need to rein me in because I would just like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, d I thrive on structure. So if I, I'm kind of in a way like, uh, like Jerry Yen, if I have a personal goal and I, you know, do a checklist, if I check all the boxes, there's so much satisfaction in that. And I think mm -hmm. that fitness, if you kind of follow along that line, you'd be able to achieve pretty much anything as well. Like, provided you know your body anatomy too, you kind of know where your limits are. But on that note, I think that could also propel you to motivate like your partner or motivate a friend or a family mm. member and just to keep them um, in, in shape. Hmm. 
Yeah, not so much to the point where okay, I have to have a six pack. Yeah. In order to stay think, alive. Yeah, I think I definitely think like the visual should not be the aim. Yeah. But rather just like the health benefits, I think mm -hmm. that would be nice. <laughs> right. Okay. So we're gonna take a look at the comment section. Mm. There's so, so many of you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we are really big fans. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you are part of this oh, right wow, now, Daddy. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's the one thing that stood out to me. Okay. <laughs> okay, if you are a part of this right now, make sure to hashtag view it live and get your friends to join us in this live stream as well. So we're gonna say hi to Macy Bueno right now. I really enjoyed watching Count Your Lucky Stars. Um, Sean goes, you both can act count you both can act in Count Your Lucky That confuses Boy, me. Boy, that, that okay, I think that was a typo there. Um, but yes, we can Guess we it. can both add, and we would love to be in Count Your Lucky Stars. <laughs> <laughs> um, scrolling through the comments, yes, we do see a couple of people um, approving of Jerry Ann's body. Mm -hmm. So we know where you stand. You're on Team Narelle. Um, <laughs> I think I think that is what we have for now with the comments. So we are going to say hi to you in the comment section in just a bit. But by the way, if you've got any stories of you know your personal experience with fitness, how, you know, say for example, you were not into fitness at all and then you incorporated that into your lifestyle, how has that changed your life? So mm -hmm. do share with us in the comment section because we would love to get to know you here on hashtag view it live. But we're gonna move along. Like I wanna know your motivation. Like what motivates you to get out of bed, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to like working out as well. And what is the best way to approach things? Hmm. I think it goes through phases, right? I don't know if it, that's the same thing with phases you. Phases like stage in life? No, like sometimes you go, you go through a phase where you're like, I'm gonna get really fit. Ooh. Does that happen? It happens to me a lot. Um, and then... That's a good question, actually. Yeah. I'll, I'll, let me think about that. But yes, <laughs> go on. I can think about that. Okay, what, what motivates me is the ability to have control over my body. Like, I love it when I know that, for example, like I can carry this heavy thing. Also, I mean, random sidetrack, but she is really strong. <laughs> we rode together once BJJ-wise, like when we were just doing it at Moonstone, my office. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, yes, remember? yes. And she's yes. really flexible and like really, really strong. You would not expect it for, for this cute little thing. <laughs> for this! <laughs> <laughs> But it was really fun. Feel I, like I literally had her in a chokehold and she would not tap. If oh, you remember that. Like breathe? Oh like tap, like breathe. Yeah, like like let me out. Like uh. Okay, okay, because I refuse to give up. Yeah. Like I absolutely did, refuse it, to BJJ give up. is like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. So it's kind of like a style of wrestling. And I really do enjoy that because it's so it's slow, but it's also like a game of chess. So you have to be physically strong, but also your technique can compensate for that. So it's quite interesting mm -hmm. to see how different people, you know, like if let's say you're smaller, you need to use more technique, but if you're big, you use more brute strength. So being in a sport that intense kind of motivates you to be like, okay, I need to unlock this next yeah, level. Is like it? To, be, okay. to be better at it, to be good, to know that like, oh, and I, and I actually felt a lot more confident like if I'm in a position outside when I'm afraid mm. for my like safety or something. Like after I learned kind of self-defense okay. in a way, like I wasn't scared anymore yeah. because I know that if it's some random guy I, and we get to the ground, I could take you up. Right. She, <laughs> she's really good, by the way. You, mm. have, to, you have to go in. Yeah. Fine. Do you do tutorial videos? No. <laughs> I feel like rolling in the net. <laughs> but due to restrictions now, I, I mean, unfortunately, yeah, there's train. not much practice, yeah. which is, which is uh, really unfortunate. But let's not lose That's hope on tricks. that. So sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, motivation for me is like, just, I mean, having a visual of yourself that's something that you want to attain. I guess it's kind of like the yoga with you, right? It's like yes, yes. You want to understand it yes. and you want to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. Actually, sports and games where there's like levels, I think it's quite fun. People, people tend to forget that when you're, it's, I mean, doing a sport, it's not just about fitness, right? But it also tests your reflexes. Mm -hmm. And it really brings out the predator or like the, the primitive side, side mm -hmm. of you. Like if, you, if you're on the mat and you're trying to kind of in a way like fight for your life, all of a sudden you just wouldn't know who you become. Like for example, when I, I did Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for the first time and I was just kind of rolling with our, with our friends just practicing, mm. it, it took me a while to snap out of that mode. 
Like I got frenzy, really like... competitive. Like I got really competitive. It's some unchecked angst right there. <laughs> <laughs> Probably uh, should check in with my manager on that. <laughs> if I kind of like lose focus. But to reiterate another point that you mentioned, which was a really, really great point, and that was the topic on self-defense. Mm -hmm. um, I remember it also before I took yoga or in between doing yoga, I did Krav Maga as well. Oh. And that's like an Israeli type of self-defense. Mm -hmm. It's very, very important, I think, for, for us as females or for anyone like that's in a more of a vulnerable position, um, especially when you're getting robbed, for example, or something. <laughs> Just casually. That, that's, <laughs> that's when your fitness comes in, right? You immediately have your reflexes together. You bring you know, your entire body weight together mm -hmm. and you just know when to like block and, and get yourself out of like a deadly situation. So I thought that was a really good point. Yeah. If you've got a story, make sure to share it with us as well, because I think those are like great points of conversation. Yeah, reasons to yeah, yeah great yeah. reasons to get fit. And you know, actually, the thing about like mm. having control over your body of being fit is that that skill transfers to a lot of different types of things. So mm -hmm, it's like mm -hmm. once you're good at, for example, like one kind of sport, that kind of transfers very easily. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, it's true. For example, um, people that are, have a ballet background or if you're a gymnast, like you'll be able to um, integrate into yoga a lot better. Because mm. you're already, you know, you've already ex exercised. You understand and, the, yeah. the structure of your body as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. And for those that have taken like Muay, Muay Thai or like BJJ, naturally you kind of... But also to understand that like, especially fitness, sometimes when you let it go for a while, mm -hmm. and honestly, let, it, it go. <laughs> let it go for a while, it gets really hard to get back on the train. I feel that what do you mean? super much. Because it's like, I mean, inertia is, is intense, right? And especially if like oh, sports, okay. as long as some friends that like sports has never been a big part of their lives. And sometimes, especially as you get older, you know, to suddenly learn a new skill, it's like, it's very intimidating. Um, I don't know, how do you feel about that? Like, do you... Is there anything that you haven't, you know, like intimidates you? Do you feel like you have oh, yeah. inertia when it comes to working out, or is it just like like that? Oh yeah, all the time. Like um, for for me, because my I dedicated like my pretty much my routine or my fitness routine to yoga. So I'm constantly doing inversions. I'm constantly doing things that are um, putting you in a stationary position, but you're still doing more cardio work. Uh, like your forearm balances, your handstands, mm. um, being able to just last like an hour on the mat, non-stop doing certain poses. It, it can get tiring, but there is a point to this. <laughs> <laughs> is that there is a point to this, yes, I do get intimidated by, by that, but that pushes me even more mm. to one day be able to say, I can do it and I did it. Mm. That that's what really gets me. Is I, I'm frustrated when I can't do something. Wow. But 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 that's my motivator. I, I don't know about you, but you might want to dial it back if you're pushing your body a little bit too oh, hard. Yeah, that's really important. Because yeah, that that's very important. Like what you eat, what you breathe. Um, <laughs> there. Duck. Do do a do run right now. <laughs> <laughs> But just to bring it, like, just to tie everything together, the benefits of fitness can really help you with your immune system, mm -hmm. can give you a better state of mind as well. I think there are many, many points in my life where I was really, really down. I didn't know what to do. And fitness just helped me to kind of get back on the right track. Great. It kind of also just shocks you out of a certain situation. Because, oh, yeah. I mean, like, the whole fight or flight type thing, right, mm -hmm. when you were mentioning just now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, it's great to sometimes get, just get pulled away from, like, the things that we obsess about day to day. Mm -hmm. You know, especially I think most of us, I don't know about you, but a lot of us work at a desk, right? We're just seated down for like 12 hours out of a day. Mm -hmm. And that can, that can kind of just kind of take you out in a, a bubble bit. for a while. Yeah, yeah. it's always important to like push our boundaries a little bit, test ourselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so you can actually try out for some smaller exercises if you've just started out exercising. Um, but for both of us, because we're quite used to incorporating things like wakeboarding mm. or like rock climbing into our routine, did someone say yeah, something along? a really interesting uh, comment. Oh, they're all sharing their stories. Yeah. Sorry for sorry for <laughs> not seeing the comments. So Rachel, Rachel <laughs> says now. Um, she she doesn't enjoy running or cardio, but she really enjoys yoga. Oh yeah. But um, it's been hard to get her husband to work out with her. That's quite that's quite interesting because I mean it's quite nice to be able to work out. Okay, for one. Do you think it's important to do the same kind of activities as your partner? 
No, because mm. I, I think that in relationships, um, you need to have your own space as well, mm. which is why like, uh, so my fiance's na name is Ben also, uh, his, her sister, uh, her brother, yeah. um, he loves Muay Thai. Yeah. He likes more cardio or hit based stuff, but I like things that are more calming, like yoga. <laughs> Instructors not yelling at you to like do something or like a plank every 10 minutes. Um, so I give him that space, mm -hmm. but as and when he wants to come and join me, then you know, obviously, cool. Like, it, it, it's, it's like a special day. It's nice, and it makes you feel, and it makes you feel like, oh, okay, he's he's paying, he or she is paying special attention mm -hmm. to what you're interested in. Yeah. I think that kind of builds the bond, the chemistry a little bit better. So, if let's say you had a partner that kind of, I like, know, like maybe, Rachel's, yeah, okay, but maybe they they really do need. I mean, not to force anyone, but sometimes you know. Like if someone is feeling a bit down and they mm -hmm. kind of let them <laughs> let go, <laughs> yeah, let themselves go. Let go. That's our favorite word today. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, okay, that that does matter. I mean, I okay. don't mean let yourself go in terms of like I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come in. But okay, and say, like in a rut. I get what you, you mean. Know, some people count as they go into a rut, and like yes, you yes. do want to be able to kind of lift them up, especially if they're your partner, yes. or your close friend. It's like you do want to come in and be like, okay, I will help you. Like, let's go for a run or let's yes. do something. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It, any I, advice? I, I I get what you mean. Like, you don't want to push them, but you also know that it's necessary for them to get out of that rut, mm. and it's it's. It's what I like to call like breaking out of that cycle because when you've been down for so long and it just becomes a repetition for you, it can get really, really dangerous and also pretty toxic. So I've had some points in my life where I'm really grateful for some people that came in um, and they were like, look, the way that you're doing, the way that you're functioning right now, it's just not healthy physically, mentally as well. So we're going to do something different to break that cycle. Mm. And, and I think that 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 in a way kind of saved my life many, many times over. It, it doesn't have to be like something complicated in order for you to ch change or like switch to a different channel. Mm. But I mean, if, if that kind of answers your, no, your question. I think yeah. in general, especially in times where I've been in ruts, um, I had wished that there was someone that came along a bit earlier who was like, snap out of it, let's go, let's do something. I'm here for you, I'm going to drag you. But I think also maybe it's also in our culture that Sometimes we don't want to overstep. I don't know. That's if, true. Yeah. Um, it's it's it, uh, yes. It's like the um, don't force someone to do it unless they want to. Like you you want to be able to make sure that they're willing to do it with you as well. Mm -hmm. Like that's the thing with fitness too, is that if the other person's not willing and you're dragging them and you're you're taking them to this this class yeah. and they hate it and they're just just zero attitude. Exactly. It I mean, kind of puts you down too. Totally. And also like, there's so many different kinds of exercise that you can do. Like for, like, like Rachel was saying, like obviously mm. she doesn't like running and cardio. Neither do I. But mm -hmm. she found yoga that she loves, you know? Yeah. And I mean, especially when you're trying to help someone, um, do not step over and say like, you will definitely like this or you should definitely do this. But be like, come let us explore to see what works for you. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. let's play tennis today and maybe tomorrow we'll go swimming and the day after we'll do something else. And if yeah. you don't like it, fine, but try. Yeah, you know, try. If good. you can, you must. If you mm -hmm. can, you must. Let's look at the other comments as well. I saw one, Arthur, Arthur Wang. Ever since the whole COVID situation, I cancelled my gym membership and just exercised watching YouTube hit workouts. That's not a bad thing at all. Like, yeah. how has it been going for you, Arthur? Let us know. Um, Winston also... Look back at your old pictures and remind yourself never to back down the same path. <laughs> if it works, it works. <laughs> it works. That's such good advice though, Winston. And honestly, like even like vision boarding, like put it up on your wall so you see it uh -huh. every day, right? Like you like... Yes. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I have a friend that loved it. Mm -hmm. Like it kept her right on track. And it makes, I mean, it honestly makes sense because essentially we are what, well, not what we think, but like what we think does affect our day-to-day -day lives. Mm -hmm. And it's, if you just have a simple reminder, kindly, you know, not stressfully, mm -hmm. but like, kindly, kindly. <laughs> um, then we would know how to kind of just keep moving and, and get what we want to without getting sidetracked. Mm -hmm. Which I feel like we have been quite sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> no, like we haven't. Like we've been watching all these comments and they're That's great. Uh, keep those comments coming, by the way. Yeah. Make sure to hashtag us with View It Live. But our producers have decided to play another video clip for us as well. Um, I do think that it's ready to roll, so let's do this. See this video. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that testosterone in the blood. <laughs> so 
I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Mm, <laughs> yes, he is. Oh no, the Ajumas! <laughs> Wait, this is um, <laughs> Is this running man? No. no. The guy? Oh, yes, Kim. Yes, yes. This is the question. What's 그럼 우리는 사실 수제 앨범 만들어서 해. <웃음> 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 oh my gosh. 난 무조건 해. 더 불게만 보는 거야. 어, 그러니까 So does he like gym every day or something? <웃음> oh my gosh, I can't believe he said that. Wait, which one? Like the part where um anywhere they anywhere they went to, because it, it's in relation to him and his his girlfriend or his partner, mm-hmm. right? Anywhere they went, he must always find a gym to work out in. That's intense. It's, it's intense. intense. I mean, okay, but I I also understand the consistency, right? Like you were saying that you know if you exercise very regularly and you fall off uh-huh. for like a day or two, it does affect. So maybe that's why he's like, oh, um, it has to have a good gym because I need to keep up this regimen. Hmm. Right. Okay. That that was Kim Jong Gook, by the way. You might have seen him on Running Man. Um, but he's also in a new show, and it's available on View. But that brings me to my next question. So for Kim Jong Kim Jong Gook, right? Kim Jong Gook. Kim Jong Gook. <laughs> Don't make fun. I'm trying to be you know, very Korean no, was, about this. Yeah, I was like, I was, I was uh, being supportive. <laughs> <laughs> my Korean friends that are watching this, they're gonna be like, Naomi. Yeah, boy, but say this right. <laughs> but Kim, but Kim Jong Gook, like, what he said, is it a bit too much for you? Like, when is it mm. time to stop? You know, like. Oh, that's it's almost like he's making this a hundred percent priority, and okay, he, I know, he okay, I get yeah what he mean. like places that on on a higher pedestal than his relationship. Like if you're going on a hot honeymoon, take a day off, right? But that's what he's saying. Like he yeah, can't take yeah. a day off. Ooh, that's tricky, isn't it? Like how would okay put it in the comment section below? How would you feel if your partner is like, I can't, I have to work out. Every day, if we don't find a gym, we don't find some place that we need to work out in. We're we're through, like, because that's at Did least. Did he say what, that they were gonna break? That? No, no. Oh. So there was this um this other gentleman in the video as well that was kind of like testing the yeah, water, yeah. a little bit. <laughs> like, I love friends like that, you know, like they call you out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you're on honeymoon and things are going well, you know, and then he says like I can't marry you if we don't find like a gym or something. Okay, I do find that that's a little bit. If you say you can't marry because you can't find a gym, then I'll be like, bye, <laughs> weirdo. Bye. <laughs> but in terms of priorities, mm. um, where do you draw the line? You know, mm. like where do you find that balance? I guess anything too much is not great, mm-hmm. and also I guess if it starts affecting your your lives, your relationships, and that's where it's too much. If you can find a good balance, so I mean. That's the thing, right? It's like it's not, it's not, um, it's all relative. Mm-hmm. So if you're a person that works out a lot, but you have good balance and you can handle it, then great. But if you can't handle it and it's starting to affect your relationships, then I think that's too much. Yes, 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 and yes. But also, really, really, like obsessively fit people, um, I do not like, but only because they intimidate me. <laughs> And I like no. Just like anything that intimidates. Yeah. Okay, I put a spider here. Mm. Oh, this one's cute. <laughs> Thank you. He is very cute. Yeah. Uh, producers, take note. She might just take that home. Um, but yeah, in terms of priorities, relationships, like I'm kind of on your side as well. Like mm. there has to be a line drawn. You know, I I won't let fitness consume me. You know, I mean, for Kim Jong Gook's case, I'm not sure if he actually has a personal trainer to be able to guide him through the process. Because if you're working out every day and you're pushing your body to the limit, mm. there has to be some downtime to that, right? Because you can't be 
just on a on a push 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 all the time. You gotta have a pull. Yeah. I mean, that depends as well. I mean, okay, if let's say he was like an athlete and it was his job to work out every day, twice a day, not stop. Okay, stopped, then of course, do it. Right. I'm j all I'm Get all on. I'm picturing is Kim Jong Kook also has to have an ice bath like every day. <laughs> have you tried that? It's terrible. It's very, Actually, it's, it's really quite nice. It's great because like the yeah. lactic acid yeah. like builds up, especially if you're doing a hit class, you would know. Like the pain is real, man. Oof. Yeah. Hit is exhausting. Okay, so we're going to look at the comments. Oh, Jay. Unacceptable! <laughs> Sis called it out. She's wait. like, nah. -uh. <laughs> wait, wait. Jay, like Jay like Jungkook Lee says, I do seven days a week. <gasps> You're in team Kim Jungkook. <laughs> Jay Jungkook Lee and Rachel Tan need to find it out right now in the comments. Yeah, you can find it out right now. Ding ding. Okay, jo uh, Joyce Lin says, I try to do three times a week. Okay, three times a week is... I do try to do three it's, times it's a week quite, as well. It's, it's quite, quite cool. Mm. <laughs> Rachel's like on the attack right now. <laughs> Maybe instead of the gym, can go for a hike during the holiday. That is nice. <laughs> I'll yes, nice. That's, that's nice. I'm on team Rachel. Yes, yeah. yes, and yes. If you have just joined us on this live stream, welcome to our weekly live show. This is View It Live. We tackle the latest in content, news trending in the Asian entertainment world. Special guest, we have Narelle King, and we're having such a great time mm. talking about fitness, where we draw the line. This time, it is on Kim Jong-guk. If, if you actually know the guy, he's super duper fit, mm. and he mostly does, does shows that really showcase his fitness and his true raw strength so go check it out um, we are still having conversations in the comment section make sure to find us there but if not we are going to kind of roll along I've got another question for you and I mean it's it's still fitness related but when it comes to um, you know just just looking out for new things to do, mm. uh, fitness-wise, like, is there anything new that you want to try these days? Oh, I feel like I haven't asked you that question because I've always yeah. only ever seen you on the mat, like, on the mat. I see you on the mat. Or like, would you try something new? Yeah. You know? what, what What would you like to try? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I love to say that. <laughs> You'd like to try. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I I'd always wanted to learn how to skateboard. Um, <gasps> is that a sport? Yes, no, it is. It's in the X Games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, serious? Yes, yes, yes. But it is a very, very young that. sport. I mean, considering, like, if you look at the, the growth in terms of the tricks that they do, which is okay. kind of like how you measure how good a skateboarder is. Okay. It's like in Tony Hawk's time, which is not even that long ago. It's like 20 years ago. He, he was doing, for example, like a kick flip, and it was like, ooh, big, big deal. Mm -hmm. And now it's like every kid could do it. So to watch the progression of like skateboarding is, is quite interesting. And I'd always thought it was pretty cool. Um, but very scared to try. And the <laughs> funny thing is that two years ago, I was like, I'm going to learn how to skateboard. And I went there the first day, and I was going down a ramp, and I was like, okay, I'm not going to live the rest of my life being afraid. I'm going to go down this ramp, and it's going to be great. And I go down, I get scared, I step off, and I break my leg. <gasps> I thought it was going to be a happy ending to this! <laughs> But happy ending is two years later now, I have started skating again and I must say, oh I am not bad. <laughs> 5 out of 10, I would say. Very good 5 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I overcame my fear, to be honest, when I went back again. Definitely. Did you do better? Okay, that, that I has was to be terrified. Right. Because like all okay. my friends, you know, for example, they would just go and they would try and they Actually, would your, and your, they would your boyfriend does that too, right? Skating? Yeah. So we Fritz? started together okay. um, through the CD period because like, there was nothing to do. And yeah. we really got really into it. Actually, he's skating right now and I'm a bit upset that <laughs> he went without me. But it's okay, fine. you're with me. Yeah. Okay, sorry. You're with me. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I am so happy it's will be here. <laughs> okay, another question, right? But back to like the... the we're going to be slightly exclusive here and really dive deep into a couple relationships. Like, and also on the topic of, uh, you know, if you saw the video clip earlier, it was also on um, Kim Jong-guk, how he manages his relationship with his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And he has to have a gym like everywhere he goes. If there isn't one, he will make one up. So... I mean, with with you and in, in your boyfriend, or like with me and, and my own partner, like, is it important for both parties to be understanding? In what sense? Like fitness lifestyle sense. You yeah, know? I mean, it's important for them to always be understanding. <laughs> oh! 
right. No, but we ask too. It's like that's communication. That's like how do you build a trust, trusting, trusting mm-hmm. relationship? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm asking this because self-esteem comes to mind, right? We okay. talked a little bit about that just now, but really, really self-esteem. There are times when you fall in love with someone, but their self-esteem in terms of uh, their physical appearance isn't that great. But you know they need it because you know they're starting to fall down the road of you know being slightly unhealthy. Okay. And and yeah. like self-esteem, like when 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 do you draw the line with with being understanding and accommodating, and then telling them to be like wake up? That's really difficult actually because now that now that you've mentioned it, I recall a past relationship that I've had that mm-hmm. that was actually an issue. And we did oh, try okay. to exercise together, but I mean, you can tell like he obviously didn't really want to after some time because it got his morale down. Mm. Yeah, and also I don't know where the comment. But I, I briefly saw something just now that said like, you don't have time. There's like so much to do these okay. days and things, other things that take priority. And especially if it's like something that pulls your self-esteem down, why should I put it on top of a list over something that I love to do? So that is a really good question. To be honest, at the end, we didn't really find a solution. I mean, we're not together anymore. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it actually was hard. It started off well and it didn't go very well. To the end. Actually, do you think that in terms of like fitness and lifestyle, do you think that that's very important in a relationship? Being able to find that common ground in in lifestyle. Like, can you accept someone that has a completely different lifestyle from you? Cause, cause more often than not, I do see, um, I do see myself like, um, seeing people from all walks of life, but there, there are a few that you have exceptional chemistry with, yeah. and somehow they kind of fall into, um, you know, your your lifestyle and and your your way of living like perfectly. I don't know why I'm not. I'm thinking of Count Your Lucky Stars. <laughs> Jerry Yens, because <laughs> they found out they found out like how to kind of balance, you know, like the luck, lucky and unlucky or something. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, uh, don't don't give away the storyline. Oh, they have to be on view to watch. <laughs> just, just a teaser. But yes, just a teaser. Just a teaser. Um, there's a little bit of romance in there, um, a little bit of a attraction that goes, you know, on the opposite yeah. ends. But it's very interesting. But back You're to your to question. I think it depends on the person, but for me, yes, I I love being able to do things with my partner, mm-hmm. um, just because I think that's a great way to spend time. And it does upset me, for example, if someone doesn't enjoy the things that you do. That's actually usually a reason for me to end things. <laughs> oh, <laughs> True. okay. Yeah. Hey. All right, now to wrap things up really, really nicely. Thank you so much for joining us here on View It Live. It's mm-hmm. been really great. I didn't think that an hour like. Has passed by so so quickly. Has it really been? But it's 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 almost like an hour. And if you've been joining us so far, we hope that you've benefited from the conversation as well. We've tackled news, um, whatever that's been trending in the Asian entertainment world, and we focused on the topic fitness and lifestyle today. Mm-hmm. So a lot of what we spoke about, it's very important in our personal life as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure to hashtag view it live to be a part of this weekly live show and to also comment, comment, comment. Now, you can catch on view the very charming Jerry Yen on Count Your Lucky Stars and also Kim Jong-kook in Mom's Diary on view. So I've learned a lot today and you know I'm very happy that you are our very first guest because we hit it off, we nailed everything and our producers <laughs> are also very, very happy with us because <laughs> we managed to She talk. laughed, we got to laugh. <laughs> we have one producer laugh, that guys. particularly loves Jerry Yen, uh, all the slide shows, all the slide photos. Just like smiling she all the way through. She was very excited to show it to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's on Team Norel also. Um, that's right. So let us know what other topics you want us to tackle as well. The floor is open here on View It Live. Make sure to stay tuned to catch us in the next session. But I also want to remind you of our next episode. Now, producers are not allowed to tell can we can we say the 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 special word that is m the m word yes yes okay so the next episode is on mukbang if you love mukbang which i do and i'm hoping that our producers will give us some asmr of some sort (laughs) next week so we can eat (laughs) make sure to stay tuned next week to find out what we are up to and also some sneak peeks that you can find especially on view without further ado this is us. This is Naomi here and Norel. What's up? 
Thank you for being on the show. You can take this home. <laughs> stay safe, guys, and have a good whatever time it is. Yes, you. stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye.